it has been another turbulent, eventful off-season for the London Broncos. There was a great deal of uncertainty about them reaching the start of the first utility Super League. But they have, they're there, 20 players have left, but a host of new arrivals too, and a new home, so Tony Ray and his side remain optimistic ahead of the new season. Kieran, it's a Super League media day, the, the launch. Uh, you seem to be having a bit of fun there with your photos. Uh, are you enjoying the whole experience of, of the launch like this? Yeah, I was here. I came came to the launch last year and um, enjoyed it last year. But I think this year it's a different different place and a few different players. And so I get around, and meet them, meet them players again, and have a, have a crack with all the cameras. <laughs> you know, now that we're in North London at the Barnet with the Hive. Facilities there are amazing. You know, I'd probably go as far as saying they're probably one of the best facilities in Super League. Got all the 3G pitches, fantastic gym equipment. Um, you know, and we're, we're settling in really well down in the in the new place, and all the lads are just really excited and you know training hard, ripping in, and just want to get started down to the season. Um, for me, it's gym, 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 gym. That's it. That's a, that's, that's my new house. I think um, <laughs> it, it's not paying off though. It's devastating, but um, pre-season it's going all right for the boys. We've still got a few players to come in, so um, hopefully that can build up the squad even more, and hopefully we can challenge for a good good place in the table. I actually arrived here last last Monday, and um, yeah, it's been been tough to adjust to the time, but um, yeah, the settling in well, the boys are London are good, so yeah, it's not too bad. Did you get a, a flavour for England when you're over here in the World Cup? Was is that something you sort of it, it sort of led you on to this move. Um, yeah, it was yeah it was definitely uh, eye opening coming in the World Cup here, but um, yeah it was good good to see something different. Enough, oh, I figured maybe get 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 a different experience out here in the Super League and uh, maybe get some more games under my belt here. You mentioned it was your first injury, first major injury like that. How tough has it been to sort of keep yourself going in in the, the recovery? Um, yeah, like I said, my injury is not the best of injuries, but um, keeping myself going has been tough. Like, obviously, my first time out, and I can't. I had a dead leg before, and I was out for a week and couldn't hack it. So, let alone being out for a few months. And but, like I say, everything happens for a reason. So, I'm um, hoping I can come back stronger from from this and become a better player. Hopefully, no one wants to go through what the club went through there. You know, it was very. Sad, like a sad time for the club there, but you know, got through it, came through it, and probably come out the other side stronger now. Uh, you know, it's a tough patch, but you just had to get on with it and do your job as best as you can, and try not to let it distract you. You're there to play rugby, and, and you know that's your job, and you've got to try and push all those things to the back of your mind. And uh, you know, it's come good in the end, and it's it's good for the sport that London's still here. And you know, like I say, we're, we're ready for the start of the Super League. We just go into the into the season with positive minds, and just hopefully we can challenge. And that's all. We, that's, I think that's what we want to do. We want to challenge and not not give everyone the, the, what they expect, and it to be a walk in. So I think just that from the kick off, it's just challenge everything. We're not here to just make up the numbers. You know, we we want to be staying in Super League for the following season as well, and we've got a job to do. And just got to forget what everyone else thinks off the field for predictions and what where they see us coming. It's all about us, a group of lads in the changing rooms and, and on the training field and on the pitch on the day. And you know, everyone is here to compete 100%. And you know, our lads want it more than anything. They're young, they're ambitious, they've got a point to prove. And you know, we're looking forward to the start of the season. Well, the Broncos start up their season at Widnes on the 16th of February. First home match is against a star-studded Salford the following weekend. Thanks for watching and keep it tuned to SLTV in the coming weeks for plenty more.